For our worry dolls, we're going to start out with two pipe cleaners and we're going to put them together to make one long one. So you're just gonna line up the ends and you're going to twist the two pipe cleaners together and you will be left with one extra long pipe cleaner. Now you're gonna take that extra long pipe cleaner and you're going to fold it in half so that the two ends are even with each other. And you're gonna go up to this end where you tied it together and you are going to make a little loop. So you're gonna pinch and twist so you have this little loop. This is the head of your worry doll. So you can shape it out so it's rounder. Now we're going to make the arms. So you're gonna take one end of the pipe cleaner and you're gonna cross it over the neck of your worry doll. Make sure it's pretty even. And on one side, on the loopy side, you're gonna pinch, pinch, pinch and twist to make a little hand. And now on this side, you're not gonna fold it all the way over, you're just gonna fold it to make a little hand and you're gonna pinch and twist that. So now we have two arms. And if they're a little long, we can fix them later just by wrapping them around. Now for the feet, you're gonna do the same thing you did with the arm. You're gonna take one end and cross it over. And you're going to fold and pinch and twist. And then just fold a little bit, pinch and twist for the feet. So my arms are a little long. I'm gonna wrap them around the body to make them a little shorter. So just like that, just wrap them both a few times around the body if you want shorter arms. Same with the legs. If your legs are too long, you could do the same thing. So there is the body for my worry doll. Now we're going to start wrapping the worry doll with yarn. We're gonna do a base layer of yarn first. So we'll do one color for a base layer, any color you want. You're gonna put a little bit of tacky glue right on top of the doll's head. And you're gonna take the end of the yarn and you're just going to place it on the tacky glue and just let it sit for a little bit so it can set. So I'll put my doll down for a little bit and then pick it up and start wrapping. So once the glue is a little bit set, you can start wrapping the yarn all around the doll. We're starting on the head here. So you're literally just wrapping it around. We're wrapping it so it covers up most of the pipe cleaner. You don't have to wrap the very tippy top of the head because we will be putting hair or a hat on our dolls. So um, you don't have to worry about the pipe cleaner showing through at the top. So now I'm gonna start going down the neck and down to the arms. You can cross it over the chest of the worry doll like this to really make it secure. And then you can wrap around the arms. Again, this is just your base layer. This is just your one color of your choosing. You're just gonna wrap it around the whole doll. I decided to leave my hands and feet bare too because you could put some gloves or shoes on your doll or just leave them bare like I did. It's kind of hard to wrap around the hands and the feet, um, but the arms and the legs are super easy. All right, so once you've wrapped your doll in that base layer, you're gonna take the end, put a little tacky glue on the doll, and then glue the end so that it does not unravel. There's your base layer. <laughs> now we're gonna dress the doll. We're gonna put pants or a skirt or a shirt or a dress on it. I'm gonna do some pants first. So I'm gonna start with some tacky glue where I wanna start the pants on my doll. I'm gonna take the end of the yarn, put it on the tacky glue, make sure it's on there good. And then I'm gonna start wrapping. Wrapping to make the pants. Uh, when you wrap, wrap tightly so that none of the yarn unravels. And try to cover up what's underneath as best you can. Now 
When you're done wrapping, take a little tacky glue and glue that end on so that it doesn't unravel. I'm going to do the same thing with a shirt for my doll. You'll be able to choose the colors for your doll's clothing. I'll also have some fabric scraps out that you can use too, and you can cut them into shapes and you can glue them on with the tacky glue. Next, I'm gonna wrap the head. And again, I'm not gonna wrap the very, very tippy top of the head because I will put some hair on my doll. You could also do a hat and you can use felt or another piece of fabric for your hair. I'm gonna use yarn. So for the hair, I'm gonna chop up some little tiny pieces of yarn for each strand of hair. I'm gonna put some tacky glue on the top of the head and I'm just gonna cover the head with little strands of hair. Your doll can have short hair, long hair. You can cut the hair after you put it on if you think it's too long. You could put a hat on your doll. I'm just doing these little individual strands of hair. I'll make sure to cover the whole head. Last but not least, you're gonna put a face on your doll. I'm using a marker for two little eyes and a mouth. You could use felt if you wanted to. You can put a little face on it and there is my finished worry doll